serious drive. I'm Haley. I think this is the most rewarding. And that's Will. It's exciting. We're the winds. A year ago, we bought a truck and a fifth wheel. So we can live wild. Along for the ride are our fur babies, Theo, Watson, and Penny. Together we saw beautiful sunsets, a variety of wildlife, and breathtaking landscapes. Stay tuned for a closer look at the adventures of the Wild Winds. Bundle up, because it's about to get chilly. First stop, Truckee, California. Six feet of snow in three days. The pups loved it. Well, most of the time. And so did we, as it was time to snowboard. We enjoyed our time in Truckee, but it was time to move on. We headed to Salt Lake City, Utah with some friends for a great time. Try to keep your speed. Try to go flat. Rattling. <laughs> Oof, wipe out.
Hey, I just want to say thanks for the uh, the charge station here. I was running low. Oh, loose connection. Dude, did you know that your wax connection is actually uh, conductive? conductive? <laughs> actually, <laughs> <laughs> are you joking? <laughs> All right, so we woke up this morning. Bunch of fresh snow. Uh, unfortunately, I left the hose. Uh, attached last night, so it's frozen. We're trying to leave. We're pouring some boiling water over that to get it to thaw. It's just some of the fun things you get to do when you live in that RV life. Now there's definitely a bunch of frozen water in this hose. So I think I'm gonna get a bucket, put some hot water on it, and let it thaw. Alright, you wanna start you wanna start the process? Now that that's done, Haley's gonna bring in the slides. I'm gonna give you a little view around the back. Oh, there goes the bedroom. Thanks to Will being on TikTok, his ADHD brain picked up a lot of trending sounds. Yeah, here goes the big boy. Magical. So yeah, if you've enjoyed our snowboard content this season, um, I just want to let you know that the reason that we were able to go, you know, we're not from here, we don't have an expensive house or anything like that. Um, the reason that we're able to enjoy these resorts as frequently as we did and get all those days on mountain is because of our home on wheels. Because we have an RV, um, we were able to travel to those places set up camp and you know get almost a decade's worth of snowboarding in one season so if you want to do the same think about it you can change your life all right i think we should be are we all good to go can you unlock the truck so we can get the dog yeah. in there Watson, you want to grab water or i already have some cool Okay. Love you. Love you. All right. So the next steps um, for this are we're gonna pull up the back legs first. Um, then we're gonna remove our kingpin lock and back up, to connect the hitch. We'll go through the safety features on that. Um, then we pull up the front legs. That's pretty much it. Before we leave, we're going to take it over to another site that's got the um, sewage and we'll dump our black tank and put a little bit of fresh water in there too. Um, we should be good to go. Let's do it. And this whole time that we're here, all we use is solar. Uh, we never even bothered uh, to hang up, to hook up to shore power. This is a kingpin lock. As you can see, this is where the hitch attaches, and this thing's in the way. The nice thing about this is there's nothing that you could cut with like bolt cutters, um, and it's got a recessed key. So, makes it really secure. snow off my hitch. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this icicle.
What you doing in here? Getting the back seat usable. All right, I'll get the snow off the windows. Okay. One pimpin. She's cold. <laughs> I made her a box. <laughs> Where's my beanie? It's gonna be in the house, isn't it? Probably. We're not looking for it though. Uh, we hit retract rear. Those orange blocks you see over here are levelers. Um, they just help make up for differences in uh, the terrain um, so that your jacks are pretty much the same height and uh, you can compensate. What you don't see in that video is Will backing into our water spigot. Only minimal damage was done. Next stop, Colorado. We found this awesome overnight camping spot. Thanks, I Overlander. Time to hit the slopes. time for one big long run so Haley and I, I don't know where she went there she is we're gonna take uh, whatever this lift is here try to take it to the top just go all the way down mountain top Express I think that one goes to the top what about you Vail was such an awesome end to our season. Our cameras got too cold at the top of the mountain, so we decided just to enjoy ourselves the rest of the way and not film anything. Well, we just did our top to bottom run at Vail, and I think that's a fantastic way to wrap up this season. So we are at the overnight parking for Vail, and uh, we're pulling out, but before we do that, I wanted to show you uh, probably the most important and easiest to forget uh, tip for driving with an RV uh, travel trailer fifth wheel <clears throat> and that is to always make sure that you have activated the tow haul function what that's going to do is it's going to change the gearing um, so that you're going to accelerate a little bit slower um, when you're getting started but most importantly when you're slowing down on a descent it just makes it so that the truck is doing all of the work with its gears by downshifting um, instead of just burning out all of your brakes so if you want to save yourself a pair of brake pads uh, definitely make sure you always have that tow haul on when you're hauling it will save possibly your life here's a quick tip for your long haul rv days park at a cracker barrel and the best part is they've got one night of overnight parking for rvs and big rigs so thanks cracker barrel thanks for being you thanks cracker barrel <laughs> winter 2022 was a success see you next year
subscribe to see more from the Wild Winds.